you only need a couple more games left this season. It's been probably hard to to find a, a rhythm, but you've managed to, to find it with Chris and with with Garrett and your wide receivers. Um, Overall, as a team, is it harder to find a rhythm because you've only played five games than it is with just a couple certain guys, or, or do you feel like you guys are, are pretty uh, interlocked with what you guys are doing right now? Um, of course, you know, game reps are a little bit different than uh, practice reps, but I think we, we practice hard. and uh, Most of our practices are just like games, so I think we have, you know, as far as timing and stuff like that, I think we have a pretty good, uh, I guess, sense on that. I will go next to Stephen Me Stephen Means, Cleveland.com. Hey Justin, um, this might be a difficult thing for you to answer, but when you were going through the, through the recruiting process, you ultimately decided to join a room that you kind of knew had some talent in, in your position room. Did that? How much does that matter as a quarterback? Who you're going into the room with? And how much are you weighing that when you're making a decision? Mm, I mean, I definitely uh, think you have to look at it. Um, of course, nobody's just going to go to a you know, a school where um, they don't think they're going to play because I think, you know, um, players choose uh, schools they want to go to, you know, to, to play for. So uh, I, I think that's a big thing that you look at and really you just have to kind of talk to the coaches and you have to be able to trust those coaches uh, that are telling you the truth. And um, you really just have to go in there and, and, and work hard and kind of let your work and uh, kind of your play on the field take care of itself. Did coaches communicate with you as they were maybe adding guys in classes before you or maybe what they were doing behind you? You said what? Did coaches maybe communicate with you what was maybe quarterbacks they were going to add in classes ahead of you and what they were doing maybe behind you? As Were you aware of everything that was going on at that time, basically? Um, no, not really. Uh, I feel like for me, it was just uh, kind of one quarterback in a the class. They were just focused on that class. I wasn't really worried about who was coming in after me. Um, I was kind of just, just looking ahead, really. Thanks. All right, we'll go next to Bill Rabinowitz, Columbus Dispatch. Hey, Justin. Uh, Pat Fitzgerald had nothing but, but very nice things to say about you and your family. Um, what do you remember about the recruiting process with them? And and obviously, you became a, you really blew up. But, but how close did you come to really seriously considering Northwestern? Yeah, I was really actually close to actually going to that school. But at the time, I wasn't that big of a, of a recruit, like you said. But um, I mean, I love Coach Fizzero. He's a he's a great person, um, a great coach. And I just love the way, you know, he, he runs his program. I think, sorry, I think uh, they have a great culture over there. And uh, I think they do things the right way over there. So I, I think he's a great coach and an overall great person. Thank you. All right, next up, Peter Warren from the Daily Northwestern. Hey Justin, sort of going off that, what do you remember about when you when you visited Evanston, you know, and visited Coach Fitz for the first time? Um, yeah, so the first time I went up there, it was on a, it was to a camp, and I just just met, you know, Coach Fitzgerald, and um, I forgot the OC's name, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I just remember uh, them all being very nice, and you know, them them all being kind of um, just just about their business and, and, and stuff like that. But I don't remember much, but what I do remember, it was it was, it was was all good things for sure. All right, next up, Brennan Gulick, Buckeyes now on SI. Hey, Justin, sorry about some of the music in the background. I'm over at the uh, basketball right here before the game. Hope you can hear me okay. Um, yeah, I can. Wanted to ask you a little bit about just kind of what if you could take us inside the locker room uh, this past week and, and how maybe you've seen the maturity of this team manifest itself with dealing with the disappointment of, of knowing that game wasn't going to happen last week and then moving on and saying, hey, look, guys, we still got our goals of winning a championship still very much in front of us. Yeah, I mean, of course, everybody wanted to play against the team up north, but, um, you know, uh, just like you said, we still have goals, goals ahead of us. We still have, you know, things to accomplish. And, um, you know, you, you really can't do anything about that. You have to control the things you, that you can control. And that's what we're doing right now. We're just going to, you know, keep, keep working harder each and every day to prepare for Northwestern. So that's what we're going to do. All right, we'll go next to Austin Ward from Letter Monroe. Hey, Justin. Coach Day's talked about, you know, how, you know, one of those goals for you was obviously to – be back in that Heisman conversation and to try and win that. And it seems at this point, like there's probably just haven't been enough games for you to maybe 
pull that off. Uh, I know you're in position to win the team goals, which you want. Is there any part of you that uh, thinks about the individual part at all and, and any frustration that maybe you just won't get the chance to do something that you wanted to do? Um, no, because again, uh, I tend to focus on the things that I can't control. So uh, whatever that is, um, you know, the number of games, whatever, you know, that, that comes into effect in, in winning that award, I can't control that. So, but what I can't control is, you know, just going out there and, and playing my hardest for my teammates and, and my brothers and, you know, just, just trying to put together a, a good game. So as far as that, I'm not really worried about it. I'm just, just worried about winning games. Thanks, man. All right, next up, Whitney Harding from WCMH. Hey, Justin. Um, moving, moving into this week against Northwestern, I mean, how have you guys kind of moved on, focused on this team, and what that really intense defense is going to bring to you guys? Um, you know, we've just been preparing a lot. We've had uh, extra time to prepare for them, so... You know, we started game planning for them a little bit last week. So I, I think we have a pretty good knock on what they're going to do, um, you know, as far as uh, on defense. But they do do a lot of stuff on defense. And just like Coach Day said earlier, they're very disciplined on defense. They're well coached. And, um, you know, they don't really make any mistakes. So we're just going to have to execute on our side of the ball and you know, just, just play as hard as, we, as hard as we can. I know you guys are focused on yourselves. You know, coach said winning is the number one priority, but there is all that chatter going on from people not calling out Ohio State specifically, but mm -hmm. sharing their opinion that they haven't played enough games. I mean, how hard is it to not respond to that? And does it motivate you even more? Um, it's not really hard to respond to that because at the end of the day, those people that are saying those things, they don't make the the decision, you know, that we go to the college football playoff. So um, I'm not really worried about the people in terms of we haven't played, you know, uh, so so many games. I mean, at the end of the day, it's the best four teams in the country. I don't care how many games you play. You know, I think if, you know, Alabama, is they're playing really good right now. I don't think people will be saying that if they only played uh, five or six games, you know. Um, uh, as far as I thought it was, I, it was the four best teams. So um, I think, you know, we're – you know, the top four best teams in the country for sure. So, I mean, and I think we control our destiny. So if we go out there on Saturday and uh, handle business like we're supposed to, uh, you know, we, we should be where we want to be. Thanks, man. Yep. All righty, next up, Dan Hope, 11 Warriors. Hey, Justin, I'm sure it was tough for, you know, a lot of you guys just not getting that opportunity to play in Michigan. As somebody who's a leader, what were kind of the things that maybe you said to your teammates to make sure that that didn't keep you guys from losing focus? Um, you know, we just got to keep moving forward, keep being better. Um, you know, uh, I think we have the best talent in the country. So uh, us practicing against each other each and every day, that's not going to do anything but continue to make us better. So um, that's that's kind of how it went, you know, last week. Of course, everybody was bummed that we weren't playing the team up north. But, um, yeah, uh, we, we can't control that just like I said earlier, and, and we got to move on. We have uh, bigger things to accomplish and, you know, uh, more, more goals to, to accomplish. So we're, we're, we're just focused on this upcoming game. Thanks, Justin. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll go next to Nathan Baird, Cleveland.com. Hey, Justin, just what has it done to the team's mood here in the last week or so to see you guys start returning to practice uh, who had to, had to be out there for a couple weeks and, and see them um, getting closer to being able to play again? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely, uh, I guess, made the team happier. Of course, you know, seeing my guy, Josh Meyer, Nick Petit, and, and, and they're back. You know, I miss those guys a lot. I texted them before we played Michigan State last week and uh, just, just told them I'd, I'd miss them out there, and I know they do anything to play that game. But um, it's just glad seeing those guys back in the building, and I know they're happy to be back, and, you know, they're, they're back to working hard and, you know, just, just, just getting ready for this upcoming game. All righty, we'll go next to Patrick Murphy, 247. Justin, uh, the the chance to win a Big Ten championship is is a big deal for anyone. But seniors that didn't get a senior day this past weekend, what would it mean for them to to lift that trophy on Saturday? I mean, yeah, I, I think it would mean a lot to the seniors. I mean, we work all year for this opportunity, so um, to go out there and get the win on Saturday would would mean a lot to those guys. And you know, I I know how hard those guys work, and you know, I, I know what they put in, you know, each and every day at the facility. So. I think that would mean a lot to those guys. 
All right, next up, Clay Hull, WSYX. Justin, uh, your play against Michigan State, I mean, you feel like you raised it, raised the level, is not just the passing and the running, but like you were talking about your weight work and running over a DB to, to pick up a first down and then sprinting 65 yards to escort Trey Sermon into the end zone. <laughs> Is that just, hey, we hadn't played in so long, I was fired up? Um, or is it you expanding your game? Mm, I think it's the opposite. You know, I think in the, in the uh, Indiana game, I was, you know, too excited and had too much energy. But, you know, I think the Michigan State game, I changed my mindset up and kind of went back to the calm me. And I think I play the best when I'm just calm and kind of just, just within myself. So, you know, I, I think I kind of took a, a step down, not, not necessarily just took a step up and, I was just kind of getting back to my old self and, you know, just, just getting back to kind of executing plays and taking uh, one play at a time. Thank you. <clears throat> All righty, we'll wrap it up with uh, Tim May from Letterman Row. Tim. Thank you very much. You know, Justin, the leaders on this team have been pretty obvious this year, the way you guys have stepped up. What do you think has helped you guys get through? It seems like every other week or every three weeks, almost since the year started, there's been another disappointment, something taken away from you guys, et cetera. But, what do you think is giving you guys the strength to deal with it and move on? You know, just, you know, these past few months, I think, you know, we've been through so much together. Like uh, these things don't phase us anymore. I mean, you can throw anything at us and we're, we're ready for it. We're going to handle it. And, um, you know, we're just going to lean, lean on each other for support. So I think we've, we've been thrown, you know, a lot of things that, you know, haven't gone our way, but, you know, those things have, have just made us stronger. So, you know, we're not worried about each other. We're just wor worried about, um, you know, I'm, I didn't mean to say we're not worried about each other, but we're not worried about those things. We're, we're just worried, worried about each other and, you know, sticking together and, and continuing to, to get better each and every day. So, yeah, those things as far as, you know, things not going our way, uh, I think, you know, they, they used to phase us, you know, when they first started happening. But I feel like, you know, those those things have, don't phase us at all anymore. By the way, do you eat, do you eat, do you eat dish pizza on that trip to Northwestern a few years ago or and that, would, that, would that be on the menu now? Um, I think I actually did eat it last year. Yeah, I, I think I had a piece. And then I remember going to a restaurant actually in, in high school when I went on a visit up there with my parents. I yeah. had some pizza from up there, so so it was pretty good. But you know, pizza is not a part of my diet anymore, so I uh, sadly can't partake in that. You know, food. But yeah, uh, I know it's good though. I know it's good. I was just being a smart aleck. Like, Thanks, man. You already know. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. Come visit us over at BuckeyeGrove.com for all the best Ohio State information on the web.